Jade, thank you. Well, it is a battle at the border today for the 2024 presidential frontrunners. President Biden and former President Donald Trump are visiting the border today, but in different cities. Their visits come as a federal judge has blocked the new Texas law that would allow Texas police to arrest people suspected of crossing the border illegally. Fox's Mills Hayes is live in Brownsville. So Mills, why did President Biden go to that location? Hey, Rashi. Well, five years ago, when President Biden was running for office, he told asylum seekers to surge the border. Since he's been in office, more than 7 million migrants have crossed into the U.S., and now he is taking his second trip to the border to show Americans he's serious about border security. Immigrants have been coming to Brownsville for decades. Our town, the families here, we're all we're all immigrants, and so there's a lot of understanding. But over 7 million people have come into the U.S. under the Biden administration, smashing records. As we add more people, there is more risk for bad things to happen. When we travel, people think, oh, there's, it's just mayhem, right? It's mayhem, and, and it's really not, um, at least not Brownsville. I don't see it. People are coming here to work. Biden flew to the Rio Grande Valley, or the RGV, to see the border issues for himself. Folks, it's real simple. It's time to act. It's long past time to act. They desperately need more resources, need more agents, more officers, more judges, more equipment in order to secure our border. 300 miles northwest, former President Donald Trump is in the Del Rio sector in Eagle Pass. I call him Crooked Joe because he's crooked. He's a terrible president, the worst president our country's ever had, allowing thousands and thousands of people to come in from China, Iran, Yemen, the Congo, Syria, and a lot of other nations. The Del Rio sector has seen twice as many migrant encounters as the RGV sector, but both areas are seeing a drop in illegal crossings as migration shifts toward Arizona. Recent polls show immigration is Americans' top issue ahead of November's election. Biden is urging Republicans to revive the bipartisan border bill that would add more Border Patrol agents, immigration judges, and asylum officers. But ASU's Trans Border Studies director says that bill doesn't go far enough. Unless we examine our foreign policy and we examine the conditions in these countries and what can be done to mitigate the circumstances that lead people to leave, the problem is going to continue. Coronado says that the U.S. needs to do two things in order to fix the humanitarian crisis at the border. One, look at its foreign policy. And two, look at its asylum policy and allow migrants to apply for asylum in their home country. In Brownsville, Texas, Mills Hayes, Fox 26 News.